Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to use HiPot on the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will go over how to use HiPot on the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. For a brief connection overview, first, apply your equipment safety ground to ground. Then apply your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or shield under test. Finally, place your high voltage output lead to the cable under test. One of the functions is a high pot test. The high pot test is used to see what is the breakdown voltage for the cable under test. In order to get to the high pot test for the smart thump, select test then you'll be prompted to the high pot screen. On the Easy Thump 12, the highest KV you can reach is 12. On the Smart Thump 25, the highest KV you can reach is 30. Once the desired voltage is selected, it will prompt you to the screen and ask you to push the green HV on button. Once the green button is selected, then it'll start to build the high voltage. The next screen that is shown will be an analog meter, which will be rising due to the KV buildup. If there was a breakdown, it will show you at what voltage. This is good to keep in mind, that way when you do your arc reflection shot, you can go 2 KV over the breakdown voltage. After the breakdown has been achieved, it will prompt you to start your fault locating. In a case where the cable is directly shorter to ground, you will get an error message showing that the cable is not chargeable. Once the desired voltage is met on the high pot and it held for over 5 seconds, the KV will then turn green showing you a new indication. The indication will show no flashover showing that the cable held the voltage and then the unit would then discharge. This concludes how to use HiPot on the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.